love Nashville so far. I'm not even a country fan. All right, so we have finally made it here to Nashville and it has been a long week. We spent our first night in Niagara-on-the-Lake at Marinissen Wines, a Harvest Host location, our very first Harvest Host, and it, we couldn't have been happier. It was a really great time, chance to uh, try a couple of bottles of wine. Uh, from there, we crossed the border, we headed to Pennsylvania. From there, we had a nightmare day driving through Columbus, Ohio. It was supposed to be a four hour drive turned into eight eight and a half hours it was not fun we spent last night at a koa in bowling green kentucky and then we had just a short drive to get into nashville today so that was kind of nice but it's been a long week a lot of driving a lot of traveling setting up breaking down every day it does get tiring so we are going to take it easy today we're going to check out this resort Maybe head down to the marina for something to eat, have a couple of drinks, and just relax. Tomorrow we're going to go into Nashville and we're going to check out some of the bars on Broadway. We are not big country music fans, so don't know how much time we're going to want to spend down there. We do like live music, so fingers crossed, uh, we'll see something good. Alright guys, let's go check out Four Corners RV Resort, Nashville, Tennessee. little tiki bar in here. Good. Really good. The bacon horseradish dip is really good. <laughs> Hey guys, we're in Nashville, checking out the Honky Tonks on Broadway. <laughs> Just come from Kid Rocks. Kid Sorry. Rocks, so much fun. Awesome beer. Uh, nudies before that, that was pretty good. Loving Nashville so far. Yeah, so far day drinking in Nashville. This is a good time. What uh, what are we gonna go to next? I don't know. Let's see what's up. I know where we're gonna end the trip. We're gonna end it at Hattie B's for Nashville hot chicken. <laughs> That's exciting. We've seen how great the live music is in Nashville. The other awesome thing you're going to find here is the food. We stopped at Miranda Lambert's Casa Rosa in the afternoon for a couple of appetizers. We picked the chips and salsa and the corn fritters and my gosh, the corn fritters were good. 
They were so good with this honey sriracha barbecue sauce. Oh my God, so good. For dinner, I'm happy to let you know we did make it to Hattie B's. We had to stand outside and wait in a line and wait and wait and wait and wait. Took about half hour, 45 minutes before we got in. But guys, let me tell you, it was so worth it. It was our first time having Nashville hot chicken. It was so good. If you're in the area, you gotta give it a try. Eat that chicken, it was delicious. If you're into Nashville hot chicken, you gotta go to Hattie B's cause it was good. Hey guys, we got some pretty intense winds here today in uh, Tennessee. I'm gonna take you outside, just show you what we got going on. It's uh, it's pretty gusty. Um, not sure how well it'll come across on camera, but let's go take a look outside. Whoa! Door flying off the hinges here. Luckily we don't have any trees behind us or anything like that, but we've got some, just the open lakes. We don't have to worry about any tree limbs or nothing like that, but it is pretty, uh, pretty intense. We saw today, uh, strong wind advisory, gusts uh, like 50 miles an hour. So, yeah. One thing when you're in a house, but uh, being in a fifth wheel, you, you can certainly feel it. We are moving around inside there today. That's crazy. Crazy. Sunny morning here in Nashville. Oh, this is a nice day. Super warm. Uh, today we are going to head into town and we're going to load the dogs up into the truck. We're going to take a drive around just to see some sights. Uh, the plan is to maybe stop at Centennial Park and then tonight the plan would be to head back into town. Uh, we're going to check out some more of the honky tonks that we missed the other day and maybe go back to one or two that we did make it to uh, just because it was so much fun. Nashville is an amazing city where there's always something going on. Whether it be during the day or at night. Broadway is filled with people and music, and then just blocks away from the crowds is Centennial Park. It's a beautiful area if you're looking to step away from the action and enjoy some downtime. We're here at Centennial Park, in, uh, close to downtown Nashville. So the park features Lake Watauga, a man-made lake where you can just sit and enjoy the scenery and watch the geese. It's beautiful. The park also features beautiful walking trails and gardens. The park also has a replica of the Parthenon, which was originally constructed for the 1897 Tennessee Centennial Exposition, and then it was reconstructed between 1921 and 1931. This is impressive. Look at these doors. Unbelievable. Hey, good morning. Another nice day here in Nashville. Sun's trying to come out, a little bit overcast, but sun is coming out. So yesterday we went to uh, the Opry Mills Mall, uh, which is right on the property of the Grand Ole Opry. We took a walk around the grounds of the Grand Ole Opry, checked that out, it was kind of interesting. 
Uh, they have little placards and stuff, give you a little bit of the history. It's been the home of the Opry since 1974. Uh, before that, it was located at the Ryman Auditorium in downtown Nashville. It still moves there uh, every year. I think for three months out of the year, it's at the Ryman Auditorium, but the permanent home is now at the Opry Theater. The mall itself is very typical, outlet mall, same shops you're going to find pretty much anywhere across the country. Uh, they did have a Madame Tussauds Wax Museum though. Um, this being Nashville, of course, it was very music themed, so they had stars from the 30s and 40s all the way up to modern pop stars today, covering every genre of music, rock, country. They had a soul area, big band, Louis Armstrong, Ella Fitzgerald up to modern stars like Miley Cyrus, Beyonce. Uh, the prices were reasonable to get in and walk around. It's kind of an interesting display that they had. Uh, you can get right up to the wax figures, so it's kind of neat to see And then last night we decided to head back into town, check out some of the honky tonks at night and see what it was like when we go a little bit later. Uh, again, first coming to Nashville, we expect it to maybe be a little overwhelmed with all of the country music. That is definitely not the case. You're going to go into these bars and you're going to find pretty much anything you want. Even the bars owned by some of the big country celebrities like Luke Bryan's bar, um, Jason Aldean's, they've got a big mix. Be aware guys, if you are going into Nashville at night, it does get a lot busier than the daytime, so you may end up having to wait in a line to get into some of these bigger, more popular clubs. But none of the lines were really that bad. They all seem to move fairly quickly. I don't think we waited more than 10 minutes at any one place. Most of these places are housed in these multi-level buildings, so each floor a lot of times will have a different kind of vibe going on. You might have a live band on the main floor, second floor playing something else, and then the top floor something else again. A lot of these places also have these great rooftop patio bars where you can listen to the music, you can grab a drink, hang out, look over the edge, see the streets below. Really cool kind of vibe going on there. A whole lot of fun. Alright, so our week here in Nashville is coming to a close and we are going to pack up and head on to Pigeon Forge. Uh, but it's been a really great time here in Nashville. I loved all of Nashville. I thought it was an amazing city. So much to see, so much to do. The food was great. The people were great. Loved it. The Just Nashville hot chicken, oh my god, it was so yeah, good. It was, it was good. worth every, <laughs> every bit of it. Yeah. There's live music at all hours of the day. Yeah. You don't have to wait until nighttime. It felt really safe being down there. We went to that Centennial Park. That was a really nice way to get away from everything. Definitely love Nashville. Definitely bring your checkbook because it it's is expensive. not. It is, it is expensive. Like, yeah. uh, and very of, expensive to park. Like yes. maybe we just picked the wrong spots, but we picked yeah. you know, two different spots and it was $40 to park, so. Yeah, parking is expensive. Drinks are expensive. But, you know, you're getting all the entertainment included for what you're paying, so I suppose that that's the trade-off. Yeah. But, uh, At least do it once. Yeah. If you can. When you go to these honky-tonks, you're paying a pretty good <laughs> premium. Honky-tonks. <laughs> They're bars. 
honky tonk. Okay, the bars to us. Them. They call them honky tonk. <laughs> so the trailer park that we stayed in, uh, Four Corners RV Resort. Um, this place is beautiful. Like I love it here. We've got the lake right behind us here. Uh, it's really nice. We've got the marina with the restaurant and a bar, which we only went to once, but. We kept forgetting about it and we were out doing other things. So. It was so nice just sitting by the fire and the lake is right there, like it was beautiful. Yeah, the campsites here are a really good size. Yeah. Certainly uh, big rig friendly if you're pulling a large fifth wheel, large class A's. Mm -hmm. There are some really big uh, rigs in this park for Clean sure. Clean laundry rooms. I did laundry, it was great. Pretty quiet at night. Um, you could hear uh, people down at the marina uh, Saturdays and Sundays for football. Yeah. But other than that, uh, yeah, it's it's really quiet, very peaceful. The staff here is really good. It was good. Loved it. Anyways, guys, so we are gonna get ready here. We are gonna start packing up tomorrow. We head to uh, Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. It'll be our first time there as well. Really Excited. looking forward to that. Uh, we'll be staying at the Margaritaville. <laughs> so, so yeah, so we're gonna go uh, start packing up, and then uh, we'll see you in Pigeon Forge. Hey, see you soon. Cheers.